everyone, I'm Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we are going to learn how to crochet this Winter Bliss Ear Warmer. And uh, that's the ear warmer that you see here in front of you. It's a very simple and easy ear warmer to make. And I have lined it, now this is optional, but I have lined it uh, with a super soft 100% polyester Sherpa fabric. So that's uh, going to be an option with this pattern. It just kind of finishes it off quite nicely. Uh, but that's this, that's uh, the winter ear, the winter bliss ear warmer. <laughs> For the pattern today, you are going to need a copy of the Rich and Crochet pattern, which can be found for free on my blog. I'll provide the direct link there in the notes for this video but it's at uh, richtexturescrochet.com. You're also going to need a 3.75 millimeter crochet hook. And we're going to be working with a fine yarn. So that's a number two on the label. I'm going to be using the Sugar Bush Bliss yarn. And um, it's a mix of merino wool along with mulberry silk and cashmere so it's quite soft I, but any fine weight yarn will do for this project. As mentioned I line my project with a little bit of fabric so you're going to need a piece of fabric and the fabric is going to need to measure the size of the ear warmer which is approximately four inches wide by about eight and a half to nine inches when you lay it flat. So you want to allow for about a 20 to 21 inch circumference for this ear warmer. Now, uh, once uh, you have all your materials together, you're ready to get started and we're going to learn how to crochet this ear warmer together. And uh, once again, I thank you so much for joining me and I invite you to subscribe to my channel, which is updated weekly. Our pattern today, it is worked in rounds and you will be joining at the end of each round. So what we're going to do is we're going to start by making our slip knot and it is up to you. You can either start by chaining 88 chains, then join with a slip stitch to make your ring, chain one and then half double crochet in each stitch all the way around, or you can work a foundation uh, half double crochet round of stitches and then join with a slip stitch in the first stitch. Uh, for myself, I prefer to work the foundation round of half double crochet stitches just because it gives your foundation row a little bit more stretch than if you worked the chain and then half double crocheted into that chain. So for the video today, I'm going to work the foundation half double crochet stitch. If you need a more in-depth explanation, there is one under the learn to crochet um, playlist on my YouTube channel, and I'll give you a more in-depth instruction on how to work a foundation half double crochet. So for the foundation half double crochet round, we're going to start by chaining two, and then back in that second chain from hook, you're going to yarn over, insert your hook into that second chain, yarn over and drop a loop. You're then going to yarn over and pull through the first loop, then yarn over and pull through all three. So that's your first foundation half double crochet stitch. You're then going to yarn over and into that bottom chain, that bottom V, you're going to insert your hook yarn over and draw up a loop. Yarn over and draw through that first loop, that's your chain stitch, yarn over and draw through the final three. I'm going to repeat that so that you have a total of 88 half double crochet stitches. Yarn over into that bottom V, insert your hook, yarn over and draw up a loop, yarn over and draw through the first loop, yarn over and draw through three. Continue that until you have a total of 88 half double crochet stitches. So 
So if you're working the foundation half double crochet, once you have your 88 stitches, you're going to join with a slip stitch in that top stitch, or if you have uh, worked the chain and the half double crochet round, after that half double crochet round, you know, again, you'll join in the top stitch. For round two, uh, through to round 16, so for the next 15 rounds, you're going to chain one, you're going to continue working in the same direction. You're then going to half double crochet stitch in the third loop of each stitch all the way around. To find the third loop, you're going to look at the top of your work and you see these V's. You have the right side facing you. When you turn it toward you, you will see a second horizontal bar underneath that top one. This second horizontal bar is your third loop. So for my first stitch that I just joined in, it's that one there. Then you'll see it here, here, and here, and all the way around. So that is the stitch or the place where you're going to be working. So you're going to yarn over, find the back of your half double crochet stitches, and find that second horizontal bar, and work a half double crochet stitch. You're going to continue that all the way around so always working in that third loop and what it's going to do as you will see I'll work a few stitches here for you is it's going to push the top of your stitch forward which is going to give you that ribbed or that knit look so there's the top of the stitch being pushed forward so continue to do that all the way around, half double crochet in the third loop in each stitch. When you come back to the beginning, you're going to join uh, in the top of that stitch with a slip stitch and then continue on with the next round. You're going to do that for a total of 15 rounds. Join in the top stitch, fasten off your work and weave in your ends. And then I'm going to invite you to pop over, if you're going to line your headband with fabric, you're then going to pop over to uh, the other video that I'll link here, that is how to line your crochet project with fabric. Uh, then you're going to sew the fabric onto your headband, and then come back to this video for the final detail. Okay, so go ahead, continue, work through to round 16, working half double crochet stitches in that back third loop all the way around and join with a slip stitch. Line your headband if you would like, and then meet me back here and we will learn how to crochet the detail together. Okay, so welcome back. You will have now worked your headband uh, so that you have a total of 16 rounds of half double crochet stitches in the third loop. And this is what your project will look like. Now I have switched back over to my blue one, which I worked with in the video on how to line your project with fabric. And that's what I've done here. It's now nicely lined giving it a little bit of extra coziness and warmth. You're now going to be working this final little bit of detail here on the front that is worked around your headband. What you're going to do is you're going to take your headband and with that seam showing, we're now going to cover it up. I'm going to be using a little bit of this cream yarn so that it is easier for you to see exactly what I am doing. So taking your headband, you're going to kind of gather it together. I fold it right in the center and bring the two ends together. We're going to be working right around this seam so that we can hide it a little bit. You're then going to take the little bit of extra yarn that you have left. You're going to make a slip knot. This part of the pattern is also worked in rounds and it is a little bit awkward, especially in that first round, 
um, but it gets easier as you go on and you're only working this part of the pattern for a total of eight rounds so uh, not to worry uh, and it's all worth it in the end so what you're going to do is you're going to start by making a chain of 15 chains there's 10 and 15 you're then going to take the 15 chains and you're going to place it under the gather, gathered portion of your headband and you're going to join in the first chain with a slip stitch being careful not to twist it see if I can get it under both loops there we go so join with a slip stitch into that first chain and it is going to gather quite snug you're then going to for round one chain one and work a half double crochet stitch in each chain all the way around now what I do as I come around I simply rotate my loop so that it's always on the top and I'm always working at the top of my headband here that tail you're going to weave in you can either work over top of it now or weave it in as you finish your headband so continue working one half double crochet stitch all the way around and then in that first stitch you're going to join with a slip stitch in the top of that stitch so at the end of round one, join with a slip stitch in that first stitch. You're then going to chain one. We're going to continue working in the same direction. And in the same way that you worked the body of this ear warmer, you're going to yarn over and work a half double crochet in the third loop of each stitch all the way around. So work a half double crochet in the third loop it's going to push the tops of your stitches forward in each stitch all the way around when you come back to the beginning you're going to join with a slip stitch in the top of the stitch and then continue on in the next round in my pattern I have do this for a total of eight rounds it's really up to you you can make it thicker or thinner I did one with only five rounds and it looked just as nice as well so it's really up to you as far as your personal preference but I would work about five to eight rounds of the half double crochet stitch in the third loop at the end you're going to join with a slip stitch and fasten off your work So at the end of your eight rounds of half double crochet stitches in the third loop, you're going to join with a slip stitch and then you're going to fasten off your work and you can weave in your ends. At this time, you're going to make sure your seam is there at the back side of your headband. You can shape it a little bit. If you would like to make it more secure, if you feel like it's not very secure, you can just uh, tack it there with a piece of thread or a piece of the yarn. But other than that, weave in your ends and you are good to go. And that's all there is to making this Winter Bliss Ear Warmer. So thank you so much for joining me on this tutorial. And uh, once again, I invite you to subscribe. Until next time, happy crocheting. Bye.